Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. For those who are seeing this very beautiful face for the very first time, it's Princess Umokoro's face. Thank you all. So I'm sure that you can tell from the title of today's video that um, it's another story time. But before we get into that story, I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who engaged with the last video. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for sharing. Sincerely, I wasn't expecting that much because, like I said, spontaneous. But you guys made it happen anyways. And I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. So for today's video, how did I end up writing jam four times? And you guys are wondering why I'm in the car again, right? So Sophie and David are making a lot of noise upstairs. So I just decided to come to my car. Jeez, I keep saying my car. <laughs> Don't think of it as lying. Rather think about it as potential. <laughs> it's not my car. It's my father's car. Hopefully one day the man will dash me. <laughs> okay, so yeah, how did I end up writing jump four times? I wrote them four times. Wow. Jeez, that feels so weird to say now. Um, okay. So the first time I ever wrote jam was in 2016. I was in S3. Um, yeah. My first time being hopeful. You know, just expecting the very best because, I mean, I'm reading hard, studying hard doing my best but yeah it doesn't turn out well what did i even score again i think i have 184 my first paper and till today i still don't believe that that's my real score ain't nothing that anybody's gonna tell me to make me believe that that was my score nah so i still i'm still very very convinced that something was wrong with jam that year so if you wrote jam in 2016 and somehow you were affected or like me you had a score that you were not expecting and you believe that that is not your score like on the negative side know that you had something way better than what you expected but like you had less than what way less than what you expected please let me know in the comment section Jeez, I hope I'm not the only one that is thinking to say, but anywho, that's what happened. And so I checked the first time, still expecting the score to change from 184. I think they wanted to write 284. I think it's 284. But yeah, so it's not like the exam was hard or anything. In fact, that has to be one of the most easy exams I've ever had to write in my entire life. And maybe because I read so hard for it, I've been reading weeks and months for it. And thankfully, everything that I read came out, but life can be a bitch. Life can be a real bitch. <laughs> Gosh, I swore. I don't know how to take that out, so if you guys hear it, I'm so very sorry. Please don't take offense. <laughs> so, anywho, I kept expecting the score to change because, you know, God's baby girl and all that, miracles to happen and stuff. And it did not change because I heard that people around people's score, people's scores were changing. Yes. But mine did not change. Even that of my friends did not change. Yeah, to tell you that, to even make it <laughs> cut, to even, to even buttress the, the fact that something was definitely wrong in fact most of my mates who i know or whom i know read well had that same particular issue right so something must have been definitely definitely wrong anywho forget all of that of course i feel that i was sad about it and people would tell you oh don't worry you're still very young you can try again next time i don't want to try again i don't want to now <laughs> So, anywho, um, fast forward to 2017, my second time of taking the exam, that was, it wasn't as easy as the first one because, of course, you've been away from school for a while and some things that you know have left your brain. So, I had to attend tutorials again, um, going for jam blessing and all of that jazz so i remember that that year they made us take this mock examination 
<clears throat> excuse me my voice is sounding very groggy this morning they made us take this um mock jam and i remember that i got 290 in the muck <laughs> god i was so happy because it was like a sign to me that this one was going to be better this one was going to be better so um the main examination came and I didn't even, okay, I didn't do half as bad as the last year. But then, it's not like I superseded the score that I got in the mock. I got 246 or 47. I really cannot remember now. So, not what I was expecting, though. Not what I was expecting, but thankful that it was better than that of last year's. Because it, it meant that I would be able to write post UTME on like last year. Um, so, 247, yeah? I think 247. Yeah, 247. Yeah, so I was able to write my post UTME that year. And then um, the, um, my, I was three, I was three marks away from the cutoff mark for my chosen course gosh it's so annoying like what what do, i'm still a young girl and i'm i'm still coming out fresh Shout should give me a break so three marks away and then i was still hopeful because of course people were you know how um, things can be in nigeria of course they'll work it somehow and you get your admission and stuff like that but nah man it did not work for me i knew people who had less less than i less than i had and somehow they were still admitted um so at that point i began to feel very very sad and upset and angry and depressed yeah because I remember waking up in the morning, crying every day. Not crying so that people will see. I mean, I'd get, I don't cry like that. <laughs> so, um, I would just be moody. Because every day, I would think that, man, this is how it's going to be. Like, all my mates are moving forward. And I am here. What are you doing with your life? At some point, I started cutting my hair randomly. Because I felt like you're not allowed to look this good and have this kind of fine hair when you're not in school. Your life did not have meaning. Please, if you're not in school yet, you're allowed to look fine. It doesn't mean that your life does not have a meaning and a purpose. It does. I was just feeling that way at that time. Um, so I think that at that, um, that year, I was supposed to do a change, of course. I was supposed to do a change, of course, but, um, yeah, I did, I, there was a course I wanted to change to, but I, I wasn't sure that I wanted to study that course, because then I did not have any conviction, conviction about, conviction about it, I wasn't very, very sure of it then, even though that is what I'm studying now, I wasn't sure of it then, I did not want to study then, because I had my heart set on something and that's another lesson for anybody who is going through what I went through at this point in their lives. Sometimes there are other choices, but you've just decided to be blind to them. I think that was my issue. Um, yeah, so I was also very, very confused. Aside the depression, the sadness, the anger, I was very confused. Because you hear people say, oh, go and study this, go and do this, go and... Some people even tell you to go and study courses that are totally unrelated to your, um, to your inclinations. So, yeah, I was very, very confused. Sometimes we'll be praying in the morning and my mom would tell me, tell God what you, um, tell God what you want from this and all of that. And I would just end up crying shedding tears because i did not know what i wanted to do with my life i did not know the course that i wanted 
to study um so yeah and that's another reason why i'm very very big on direction from the holy spirit because it's so relieving when you don't know what to do and somebody tells you this is the way walk in it go here go there do this don't do that yes it is very very comforting um so yeah then i was slowly giving up hope i was in fact let me not say i'm giving up because there was this small flicker of hope um so but i did not have okay i let me put it this way i did not have the vibe of the ginger of the energy to write another jam in my life so this is the third time right 2018 so i remember that i registered for that exam on the last day in fact it was my parents that pushed me to go and register so i registered um and because i registered late of course i got a center that was very very far away from me so mom had to go with me to Ekbe to go and write that exam and it was very stressful the journey going the journey coming back it was very stressful and i remember that on our way back just like you have gone through all of this stress why don't you tell god what you want ah, my mommy are telling god what you want <laughs> why don't you tell god what you want the score that you want to have um from this examination and i said okay above 280 i wasn't saying above 280 because i knew that i could get above 280 i was saying above 280 because she was there let me not let her not see me as somebody that is on serious because i wanted to say oh above 230 because i mean from what i've seen from the previous years that was what was likely to happen but i did not want her to think that this gets very very serious with her life she doesn't even have high expectations for herself i said above 280 so thankfully um the result came out and i had 286 yeah i had 286 then yeah so you know that moment where you did not expect something to happen and it happens then it gives you hope it increases your hope for something yeah so that's what happened to me and thankfully i hit my cutoff mark but in fact i was directly on the cutoff mark but i did not get admitted for the course that i want and at this point maybe it was just God telling me that see that thing that you have in your heart is not what i want you to do <laughs> so at this point i wasn't even um i wasn't sad i wasn't upset i wasn't angry with anybody i was just you know taking things in my stride because i just went what do you want me to do again who do you want me to shout out who do you want me to be angry at nobody man so i just I just took I just took things in stride. In fact, unlike the other times where I would be um anxious about um the admission list and stuff, nah. I wasn't even thinking about it. If it comes, it comes. If it doesn't come, glory be to God. Fine, I'm alright. That was the state of my heart. Then and yes, it did not come. It did not come. It did not come. Um, then, in 2019, in 2019, the following year, it's not like I had too much hope anyways, but I registered, I didn't register late, I registered on time. Um, but the course that I put there wasn't the one I'm doing now. It was the one that I had my heart set on. I read this and something was like, if you know what you like for yourself, you better go and change to the course that you know you're supposed to be doing. So that was what I went and did. I changed to that course. And unlike previous years where I will be agitated, I will be worried, I will be anxious about admission list coming out cut off marks coming out yo your girl was chill 
I was so so chilled about it. In fact, I wasn't even asking people. Oh, talking about asking. No, let me not let me not talk about that in this video. We passed that already. Um. So yeah, I was so at peace with what I have, with what I had chosen, and. So yeah. Long story short, you know how it ended. I got the admission that I was looking for. And it just came like that. No worries. No running around looking for who to help to submit your name and all of that jazz. It came warily. Where is the Yoruba word that means effortlessly? Or so I think. So yeah, that's how we came. And today, I'm in school. I'm in school. Doing the course that I love and I enjoy. <laughs> yes, I enjoy it so much. During our induction, a lot of people... I'm studying theater arts, by the way. When a lot of people were complaining, Oh, this one is so hot. This one is, oh, I just said hot. <laughs> this one is too hot. They are stressing us too much. This and that. God, I was having the time of my life, you know. Um, so why did I make this video? I'm not the first person that has gone through that has experienced delay in getting admission, neither will I be the last. There are other people who are going to experience it after me, there are people who are experiencing it now. Maybe not just delay in getting admission, but maybe delay in getting married, delay in getting a baby, delay in getting a job. See, these things are a part of life. And some people will be there crying, complaining, why me, why me, why me? If not you, then who? Me? <laughs> not dear. I've gone through it and I don't want to go through it. But that does not mean that I won't still go through other challenges in life because... It's life. At some point in your life, at some point in everybody's life, they're going to go through something difficult. They're going to go through one challenge or the other. But you just have to go through it. And it's a whole lot easier when you go through it with God. <laughs> it's not, it's a whole lot easier. Truth is, it's not easy. You'll be burned out. You'll be sad. You'll be stressed. You'll be angry. But don't give up. God is not giving up on you. And you are not supposed to give up on God. Do the things that you're supposed to do. And let God do his part. I'm just here to encourage somebody today. Right? Eventually it will come. And it will come in God's own timing so don't um don't put yourself under unnecessary pressure and say oh time is going i'm growing old people are asking you every day right in god's time um the bible says that god makes everything beautiful in his time so forget your age when it happens it's gonna be very beautiful yeah <laughs> it's gonna be very very beautiful the waiting process is not all that easy you will cry. You are allowed to cry. It's okay to feel sad and bad, but it's not okay to give up. So yeah, I'm telling you, don't give up. Another opportunity will come again. Try it. Write that exam. Take that test. You're looking for a baby. You're looking for a husband, wife. It will come. The job will come, okay? But that process, you must go through it and it's not so much about the destination it's what you do during the process it's your character that you're building it's your integrity that you're building and you know sometimes these things happen to us not just for ourselves alone or not just because of that thing alone maybe there's a challenge or there's something that's going to come in the future which you need lessons from here to go through. I don't know if I just made sense. But. Oh well. I think you understand what I'm trying to say. 
And sometimes you will see that these very things that you're praying for and you want the most, you see other people who don't even want it as much as you want it. Or people who aren't even working as hard as you to get it. People who aren't even praying enough getting it. Please, resist every spirit of envy. (laughs) It's not going to get you anywhere. When you see it happening for other people, please, like Simi and Cobham said in their song. Um, what do you think that song? Um... Gosh, I've forgotten. But it's be happy for people, congratulate people. Your own turn is going to come to. Everybody has different times and seasons, and your turn will come too. I have rambled a lot. This is 20 minutes, and I was hoping that it would not be more than 15 minutes. Forgive my rambling. I hope that you learned something. So please tell me in the comment section. So the first thing I said that you should tell me in the comment section is if you wrote down the 2016 and you feel like something was wrong with the system that year. And also tell me what you learned from this video so that I will know that I have not rambled on and on and on without making sense. So yeah, that's the end of today's video. This video ought to have gone up um, like last week. But um, I have just decided to take a break from social media. From social media. So yeah, this is me. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that you learned a lot. Please subscribe. Please like my video and share. And what else? Okay, that's all. Bye, Peter.